Welcome to the IMF eLibrary Learning Series. This session is on Cited and Cited By functionality. First, let's review Cited References. The IMF eLibrary continually checks references used in IMF publications against the publication registering organization Crossref. When a reference is found, the Digital Object Identifier, or DOI, will be displayed and a Crossref supplied link will be provided to transport the user to the publication referenced. Depending on the nature of the site, there may be full or partial access to that publication. Access to referenced sites are under the direction of that publisher. Librarians should take note. If their library system has an open URL resolver, that functionality is fully compliant with the eLibrary and can be integrated into their systems. Please see the Librarian Features video or contact IMF Customer Services for assistance. In addition to the Crossref integration, links are also provided to view the publication in Google Scholar. From Google Scholar, you may also be able to link to the referenced publication. To export the citation details, click on Export Citation and then select the type of citation management tool used from the drop-down list and click Export. A file will be generated that can be opened, saved, or canceled. IMF publications are also registered with Crossref and information can be obtained on where IMF publications have been cited. When an IMF publication is cited, a reference to that citation is noted in the eLibrary. At the publication level, it can be seen below the Table of Contents. At the chapter level, it can be seen by clicking on the Cited By tab. Details about the publications that cited this content are displayed. Five publications have cited this IMF document. At the end of each citation, there is a Crossref link that, when clicked, will display the source publication that cited the IMF publication. Beneath the Crossref citations is a link to view citations for this publication in Google Scholar. In future versions of the eLibrary, additional citation sources will be added. The eLibrary will also allow you to set an alert to notify you when a publication is cited. To do this, you must turn on the citations alert. There are two ways to turn on this alert. One is near the citations. As you can see, the citation alert is currently off. The second way is near the main navigation under the Citations tab. Here you can export the citation of the IMF publication by a selected format and tool. This action produces a file which you can open, save, or cancel the export. From this tab you are also able to set the Citations Alert feature. You must be logged in for the alert feature to be available. To turn on the alert, click on the Citation Alert link to access the light box and click on Enable Alert. Now, the alert has been set and you will receive an email when this publication has been cited and that citation has been registered. To manage all of your citation alerts, go to My eLibrary. Within the Citation Alert tab, you are able to see your citation alert, view the publication where the alert has been set, and delete the alert. Thank you for using the eLibrary citation features.